folks, Lewis here again, Gitano Roofing. I received a few emails today from some customers that are still a little bit confused of what the difference is between a three tab shingle and a tabless shingle. So I've done a little diagram here for you today out on my sidewalk and I'm going to explain what the difference is. So right now, currently in the GTA, there's over a million homes that have a three tab shingle installed on their roof. Unfortunately, they are doomed. And what I mean by that is, as you can see, your average three tab roof has thousands of seams wide open for the wind to blow them away. Now, this is why every week you come out of your house and you notice that you have shingles on your lawn because it does not stick anywhere on your roof. Now what I mean by that is if you look back this is just a small piece three shingles to be exact and right here we can count one two three four five six seams wide open for the wind to blow them off. Now you can multiply that by an entire roof and that's how you end up with thousands of open seams wide open for the wind to blow them off. Now, here is a tabless shingle, a new technology roof. As you can see, there are no seams, zero, for the wind to blow them away. Now, when I say one piece, I mean one piece. Because as you can see, this shingle is a one piece situation. Now if you pull up the other shingle, this piece is a three piece situation. And they're so darn delicate, you could almost rip them right off. And that's what the wind does. So that's your difference folks. Three tab shingle, tabless shingle. One piece, three pieces, okay? Now, I'm going to take a walk around the corner here and show you an example of a three tab nightmare. Okay, so here we are. Straight ahead, folks. This guy's got a three tab roof. And I mean, I'm only looking at half of the back of the house. And I bet you can't even count how many seams are wide open for the wind to blow them away. Never mind the entire roof. And as you can see, He's got shingles blown off everywhere. Now this poor guy, he's had a repair guy come over five times and he's paid him over a thousand dollars. Now I think he's just about fed up and he's ready for a new technology roof. Now a new technology roof would be a prime example of this house over here. This homeowner's got his feet up on the couch sipping on a margarita as he does not need to worry about any wind or any rain coming into his home and destructing his family and his life so that's all i gotta say for today folks hopefully you get a better understanding of what the difference is of a three tab shingle versus a tabless shingle once again this is lewis signing off as gitano roofing dot com